It's Pop Trigger interview time with the one and only Asia Monet Ray is here. Yeah, so excited. Woo! Okay, so you guys know Asia obviously from Dance Moms and Raising Asia on Lifetime, dancer extraordinaire, fantastic singer. But what blows me away is when I see you perform on stage and you have the stage presence of Beyonce and you're <laughs> nine. Where do you get your discipline from? Where do you get your confidence? You know, it just came naturally. <laughs> you're born and you're like, hey everybody. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> yeah, because when I was like, basically when I was born, I was very, very, very hyper. I never calmed down. I never wanted to sit. I would always want to be doing something, co coloring or doing anything actually. So then my mom got me into dance class and I just loved it very quickly. But at 18 months before I started dancing at two years old, I was an ice skater and a gymnast. You're so talented, it's just crazy. When someone describes, like if you were to describe that about someone else, I'd be like, oh, come on. But watching your show and knowing what you do, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, she probably did it at like, you know, 18 months old. This is a good, good time to start. Yeah. Insane, so I good. I taught myself at two years old to do a cartwheel on the beam, like the high beam, like not you even like okay, this Okay, so well. you coach yourself too. What Basically. have I done with my life nothing, is what I want to know. Practically. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But your LP too. Your fans are loving it. Lots of rave reviews, which you can get on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify. But you have a Christmas single coming out. Yes. So can you tell us about the Christmas single? Actually, it's this week. Okay, so please, everybody, keep following Asia, and you'll find out when she releases the Christmas single. Can you give us any hints about what song it's it is? It's Christmas Time. Okay. And it's funky and it's movable and it's danceable and it's so, so, so fun. And then Raising Asia, tell us about that because basically they're following your rise to stardom with your family, right? And your incredible work ethic, which is insane. <laughs> but what is it like having cameras follow you around? Do you like it? See, people think that, like people ask me in other interviews, like when you're like in your room sleeping, do is the cameraman like this in your face? I'm like, no, no, it's it's way different than that. So they're like here at six o'clock in the morning. I'm still sleeping. At least my call time's at like seven. Wow. <laughs> my mom's is at six, though. So. Yeah, brackets up at ten. <laughs> I, mean, I got up at nine sixteen today. Thank you. I did snooze, so like nine twenty-five. I got up at like seven. <laughs> How um, do you do that? When you wake up in the morning, you're just like, oh, I don't want to do anything today. Or are you one of those people who wakes up and it's like, let's get going? Well, actually, I do want to wake up and like do something, mm -hmm. but it's kind of my bird. You have a bird <laughs> and, yeah. and it squawks to wake you up? <laughs> That's your alarm clock? Basically. So her alarm clock's old school too, which is crazy. Like it's an animal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a bird. That's the oldest school alarm clock besides it's, like the it's sun. It's not a rooster. It's a bird-eyed cockatoo though. Oh, cool. And I do not have a farm, even though we live by cows. You do live by cows? Like, very close. And then you on uh, Dance Moms. So what was it like working with Abby Lee Miller? Do you like her? Did you, um, do you like that she's strict? I do. I never can focus with people who are like, yeah, that's good. So let's do it again. Okay. She's like strict and she's, if she sees one little thing, say my hands like, say the moves like, uh, like a wave or something like that. And I do this. She would like you literally yell at me, right? <laughs> and say, "Let's do it over." See if some like coaches that I've experienced, they're normally sometimes like, "Ah, uh, that's why I cannot work." I would be like playing around like the whole time. That's like basically going to the park for me. But I need a strict teacher because then I do not progress. It's very weird. To me. <sighs> You're she, amazing. She was, you started on the, the competition show. Yes. To find out who like was good at dancing, and of uh, you know thousands of people, she was like the one. I mean, even you know, Press to, watched to get your all of them. Oh, all what's your I talk about on this Please, show? Please, let's talk about it. She's sleeping till like ten, so he probably stays up like at twelve. It's true. I have to, I have to catch up. I have to I'm catch up. I'm not really that surprised. So she won the dance competition she to was, get. Well, but basically, you came in third, right? On the. Uh, yes, on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, I came in third, and I was six years old. Did that? Did coming in third stop her? No. no. Obviously not. <laughs> well, actually, even if I did win, I couldn't get the Joffrey because you have to be over like 13 to go to the Joffrey. <laughs> you were competing against 13 year olds actually, and you were six? Well, the whole story is they thought when I was auditioning for the show, they thought I was nine when I was six. Gosh. And, um, I've had a, I've had so time. we went to New York, we did <laughs> the audition, and they're like, oh, well, she's six? 
so we'll have to do like a couple things, talk to the people and stuff. So anyways, my mom's like, well, no. I'm like, okay, if you're not coming on, I'll find a different mom. <laughs> you're, I feel like you're so far uh, advanced for your age. It's unbelievable. I'm like, who's in this body? Who's it? Beyonce? Who is in here? Yeah. But if, go ahead, I'm Brett. I'm a terror adult. I want to know your favorite, your favorite performance you've done so far. Well, of course, like when I was like five, I was, I did QIT by Michael Jackson and I was five. And literally, I had the poster in my room. I literally look like a chickmunk. I'm literally this small. Aww. I swear, I'm like this small. And I haven't grown much. I'm like probably this tall now. <laughs> and what did you like so much about that performance, though? Well, it's just I was five. So yeah. to me now, it, like, it was like cute. <laughs> right, which but. I'm sure was still insane and stellar and all of the above. But really quickly, if you could pick any artist out there right now to do a duet with, for an album, who would you pick? Beyonce? Yes. That's, That's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> I already answered does that. Does she know of, I mean, you have millions of fans, you have yes. a half a million Instagram followers, but does she know of you? Because I feel like if she met you right now, she would just want to steal you away. Sorry, mom, but mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Anthony Burrell is actually her creative director. Mm -hmm. So um, I just really hope I can meet her someday. Oh, you will. And I've done everything. I've even posted, like people make edits of literally me doing turns to Beyonce's music. Yeah. And I don't know, like, and I actually, well, because I'm really young to know what Destiny Child's was, mm -hmm. but I love Destiny Child. Mm. Me too. The <laughs> one that you do love it because uh, know about and know about it because yeah. uh, because that made I me love... feel less old. Okay, good, Brett. Yeah. How old is Brett again? Thirty-nine. <laughs> 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 Nineteen oh, and twenty-five. Beep, beep. Okay, so big round of applause for Asia Monet Ray, everybody. Woo! Make sure you get her LP on Google Plus, right? As well as Spotify, Amazon, iTunes. Also, my website, I am Asia Monet. Dot com and also follow me on my social media, Asia Monet Ray, and that's all my social media. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's perfect. And then also stay tuned because any moment now we're going to find out when her Christmas single is out. We can't wait. All right, we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.